So, with the reason to copper stuff, um, a lot of people are scared and uneasy for the future of YouTube. So, oh, excuse me. So, let's talk about how YouTube, if you, if it's possible for YouTube to be, oh, no, I don't know, okay. YouTube to be replaced, uh, presumably with something better. Um, so this is, I've been thinking about, it, about this for a little while now, um, it is within theory doable, um, you could within theory replace YouTube, but you need to do several very important things. Firstly, unlike YouTube, don't uh, um, just uh, not allow uh, people under 13 uh, to uh, make an account, because um, kids are just going to lie and they say that they're over 13 um, and that's what got YouTube into this whole mess in the first place. Make it so that if they are under 13 they can still create an account but it will uh, completely conform to copper their account so no, so they won't have like um, Oh yeah, yeah. If you well, I'm not gonna go over it, but any, it won't basically um, draw the attention of copper. Um, and the, the, something else you're gonna have to do is you're going to have to play to your strengths. Um, something huge you can't do and hasn't done in a while is f you know basically free speech um, and it, um you know, have uh, so basically when you're making it, have it so that you can say just about anything as long as it's not slander or hate speech um, or mis or spreading of misinformation that can be pro that can be proven to be misinformation. Um, and something that you would need is a big button, big red button that says "Report this video," like somewhere like probably next to the title or somewhere where it's easily seeable it's like report this video and then they can report it for like slander, hate speech or misinformation and it would, uh, uh, then that video would go through to somebody to review the video and uh, either delete the video or just uh, mark as not what they claimed um, and then I would uh, then uh, go to block all further claims of that of it being uh, those things. Um, and uh, yeah, something else. The main issue with this is, um, well, this is the second most important issue: money. You're going to either need to get advertisers on board, which with my next suggestion might not be too difficult um, but I would also suggest just like adding a button that um, so like you, um, you're viewing a channel and there's a donate button and you can just like click the donate button and if you've inputted input your credit card information um, you can just add you know donate that much money um, also may, maybe add some sort of verification that, to make sure they're over the 13 years old all over, um, or something, I don't, I don't know, uh, like credit card, get credit card information, uh, to confirm that you're over 13, because then, even if, in, even if they don't have a credit card, because they're only like 13 or, 13 or 14 or 15, um, then they could just get their parents to do it for them, um, Uh, so, yeah, um, but the main thing, and th this is this is the thing that will either make or break um, any YouTube competitor. You need to, and I'm not just, and this is no exaggeration. For a YouTube competitor to succeed, they will need this, otherwise they will be doomed to fail. They will need to take creators from YouTube, and I'm not just talking about any little creator, just like me, just like, hey, you want to come over to our just, that's a 
Oh, I, like, I'm not gonna really bring that many people over, if any. So they need to get big creators. I'd say people like the Yogs Cast, um, Matt Pat, PewDiePie, um, Chugger Conroy, um, and I'm just going for gamers off my head uh, just right now. Um, uh, Ant Venom. You know, just some big um, creators, and then maybe get some up, and then maybe dip into like other areas like um, animation. Get the odd ones out, SMG four, um, and other animation channels. I can't think of put up right now, um, and uh, get some reviewers. Like I hate everything. Um, Cinema Sins, Cinema Snob, Nostalgia Critic, you know, get some of those guys and uh, just get bits and bobs, you know, some uh, some big YouTubers from almost every uh, kind of thing you can get. Get some beauty gurus, I don't know any. Get Philip DeFranco on board, get, you know, just get as many people as you can, just like, hey, we're trying to start up a YouTube competitor. And um, we needed uh, some big names to uh, drag uh, um, people over to our place. So how about we give you this large lump of money or like the smaller bits of money over a longer period of time, and um, and therefore, and then you just like become exclusive to our um, website for ever or for X period of time maybe um, and then if you get enough big names like that like um, like uh, you know all those people I just mentioned then you are gonna get to the uh, catchy eye of some advertisers like um, we already have uh, um, you know companies that uh, um, you know, sponsoring individual channels like um, no Noggin, Loxin and, and Noggin, um, he got one from this like um, Japanese sweet loot crate, crate kind of thing um, recently, so you get uh, so you get smaller companies like them to like, hey, uh, could you run an ad for uh, our product? Um, Oh, Death Battle would, would be a good one to get as well. Um, I was just because I get blue ape from you know, hey, want an ad for our product? Um, and for every time it and uh, one of our ads is run on your one of the videos on your thing, we'll give you X amount of money. That and then you basically got a, a then you basically got income coming in and it, um, and it, and maybe. Uh, and it, um, maybe you could set up like sort of a Patreon kind of style integrated into it so that um, just like Patreon that uh, um, they can uh, pick a tier and donate to that tier and uh, then um, one and then uh, they could get certain per perks chosen by the uh, content creator like early videos or exclusive live streams um, and just stuff like that um, but honestly I think you could probably launch a very bare bones YouTube competitor and just get and just try and get as many big names as possible and I think that would still kind of work and obviously with all the donations you take a small percentage like 25% max I'd say that I'd say 20, 10 to 20 percent, I'd say, would be fair. 25 percent is just uh, like mm. any more than 25 percent, it's like that would probably not be a good idea. Um, but yeah, you need that's but again, that's the main problem. You would need to get a lot of big names to get people on board with it, and the, the problem is that YouTube has so many big names that um, even if you do get like a good chunk of them yeah, there's still going to be others on YouTube so um, some people are still going to be tempted to stay on YouTube so even if you get a creator you're not 
guaranteed to get a lot mo you're not even guaranteed to get most of the subscribers to move over um, but I do think if somebody took this and apply it took the what I said here and applied it um, somebody with a lot of money probably um, I think they could honestly make it work yeah, <coughs> mind you that's only going to work for a short period of time this is more of a setup kind of thing this is this would only work for the first few years like by 10 years max I'd say when it was uh, just starting up um, and the, you're getting creators on board and then people come over and then more creators come over because more people are coming over and it's hopefully snowballing um, but you but um, you will need to refine it a lot at, at when people start coming in because you're going to need to upgrade and update to the um, interface. You're going to need to um, just like mess around with so much. You're going to have to get like hire a lot of people to uh, filter through all of the reported videos so that uh, our reports be spam. Uh, you know, to break the rules basically, and a lot of people to uh, keep an eye, and make sure um, people under kids under the ages of 13 and creating accounts, uh, accounts for people over the age of 13 just to keep copper away from you um, and then you're also gonna have to juggle PR with like uh, uh, mainstream media gonna probably be trying to take you down like they try to take PewDiePie down you know this you've you're just gonna have a lot of stuff to contend with after a while so you are gonna need to upgrade and expand massively uh, if it ever does take off like again this would be something that would be very hard to do and I think that's why we haven't really seen anybody do it yet because it would take a lot of money a lot of time and I think you would need investors if the average person wanted to get this done feasibly like you'd probably have to go to a big company like hey I want to create a competitor to YouTube I need a lot of money to get it up and running and then get YouTubers over onto it. Are you in, you know, do you want to invest or whatever and you probably, you probably have to make a mock up of the site first. But, yeah, I think, again, I think it would be a lot, uh, you'd have to get lucky but I think that would be how, um, it would have to work and uh, I really don't think YouTube would be able to compete too much with it because if it did they get going because they can't they're too afraid of of like social backlash to make it too free too much for a free speech platform so uh, they probably have to start throwing money around just like we'll give you this much money if you stay and then just like Okay, now channel creators with like ten subscribers can become partners, and they don't have to start like pulling out all the stops uh, to try and keep uh, people from leaving YouTube. Um, do I think this will ever happen? Probably not. I'd say ninety-nine percent. No, but I would love to. Um, do this myself like that if I uh, if I could do this myself I do it like that um, maybe if maybe if somebody did it on kicks could do it on kickstarter or something but I just don't have the technical know-how um, to build a website um, also to get to just like do half of this stuff so uh, again this would be something I'd be interested in doing but I just, if I had any of the knowledge required to really do it, I, I could be a, a creative consultant for somebody doing this, but yeah, I don't think I could do this myself. Um, so yeah, anyway, I hope you, I, oh, and the Hermitcraft team, they'd be some good ones to get on board to get all the Minecraft people on with it. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.